Hi, I'm Mark Shannon for Henry's TV. And of course, I have Billy, one of the Fuji guys, with me. Nice. Now, you may recognize what's in his hand right now. We have, of course, the X100 and the X Pro One. But there's something newer from Fuji. Yes, there is. Uh, we just recently announced a brand new uh, interchangeable lens camera, the XE1 camera. And this is why I'm here down here to uh, <laughs> talk about the, uh, the camera itself. It, you know what? It looks. It looks like a great camera, but what I noticed first is that it feels different. It actually feels a little bit lighter than the X1, or sorry, the X Pro One. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the X Pro One, uh, if you look at it uh, weight wise, it's mm -hmm. about 100 grams less. Okay. It's also 30% less than the uh, X Pro One, so it's more in line with the, the X100 uh, camera. Of course, but it, but it does use the same lenses as the X Pro One. It does. It uses the, uh, the, um, uh, the X mount lenses okay. from Fuji, and currently I have, of course, with me the, one of my favorite lenses. The, the <laughs> 35mm f1.4. Beautiful lens. Uh, it's a, quite a sharp, sharp, sharp lens. So yes, it also uses the same sensor. Okay. So it's the APS, uh, uh, the X-Trans CMOS sensor. Yeah. So it's uh, well we known for an extreme low light, and of course that X-Trans allow for even higher resolving power. Of course, and that I mean that sensor has always given some great performance. And you know I have a couple friends who have the uh, either the X Pro One or the X100, and have got great performance uh, out of those cameras. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, when we brought this camera out because we had customers who felt like the Expo One is what they wanted, but when it came to, I guess, the uh, the affordability factor of it, yeah. uh, you know, it was kind of out of reach of, of most customers. And this is the main reason why the X E1 exists today. Beautiful. Well, is there anything else that you could tell me about it? So, so maybe yeah, some other I new mean, features. Yeah, uh, I it, it it takes the design from the. Uh, um, X100 as well as the X Pro One. Okay. Like I mentioned before, it uses the same sensor, yep. the APS-C uh, X-Trans CMOS sensor, so extreme high ISO and, and very, very sharp images uh, from that. Um, but it also adds some of the newer things uh, yeah. uh, that hasn't existed before. And, and the biggest difference, of course, is uh, we talked about the size, the weight, but also um, in order to fit it down to the, to the uh, to, to the masses in terms of affordability, uh, it no longer has the optical viewfinder option. Okay. So both the X100, X Pro One, both had sort of a hybrid viewfinder, yeah. where the X Pro One had a multi viewfinder that had a sliding magnification uh, yeah. lens that allows you to do uh, the different lenses. Um, this one only has an EVF option. However, the EVF is a newly improved, you know, OLED display, which okay. is going to give you richer blacks, better contrast. So it's, it's almost awesome. like the human eye. <laughs> um, it, it's pretty good. And in fact, it, it makes it a lot uh, more usable when it comes to things like even manual focusing. Okay. It actually has over 2.3 million uh, pixels. So it's going to be very, very, very high res. And, you know, if you notice, Mark, uh, on the back here, you notice there's also now a mm -hmm. diopter adjustment, yeah. just like the X100. And the reason for that is because, you know, without the sliding lens magnification that the X Pro One has, we can now actually fit that piece into this camera. Yeah, for someone like myself who does wear glasses on a regular basis, you know, I don't always want to wear them when I'm shooting, so that diopter is certainly helpful. Very, very useful. Now, we look at the design of this camera, of course, you know, things, you know, that we improve, of course, yeah. is the autofocus system. Of course. Uh, which is, uh, you know, much faster now. Um, of course, the design layout was, again, taken from the X Pro One because it was so, somewhat proven, the mm -hmm. bigger buttons over the X100. We moved a few uh, locations of the buttons, like the playback, so that's on the left-hand side. It doesn't get in your way. From oh, the beautiful. Um, the manual focusing has, is much improved now, so better refined so that when you rotate left and right, uh, it's much faster to uh, oh, wow. to move. And this is, makes it very useful because this camera can also, you know, accept the you know M mount lenses, um, you know, yeah. via the M mount adapter that we offer with this camera. Uh, and some other additions, of course, is that, you know, like the X100, it does have a built-in flash. Okay. You know, uh, we, we appreciate customers, you know, not wanting to always have an external flash with them. The hot shoe is still there if they need to, uh, to, to do that. But, you know, with the extreme capabilities of the, uh, of the X-Trans sensor, generally most people just shoot, you know, uh, you know, without the flash and just get sort of natural lighting. Yeah. Um, there's also other additions, of course. Uh, one, one of the points I like to make, of course, is uh, there's a mic input now. So uh, with the mic input, it allows you to use an external mic. Yeah. Better for video. But you um, said there were, there were other uses for that uh, input as yeah, well. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And one of the things that people have been asking for was the ability to do things like interval shooting. So yeah. you can technically now with that same connector connect an intervalometer. Oh, wow. You can also have sort of an electronic remote release. 
So wirelessly you can do that. The camera also can use the R80 USB release that we have, you know, that works, you know, with the XS1 and some of the other cameras that we offer. There's still the uh, manual cable release if you want to go old school. You can, uh, you can do that as <laughs> I well. Know, I know there's a lot of people out there that, that are probably going to want to do that too. <laughs> so people are really getting good value for your money with this camera uh, because it gives you everything that the X Pro One has. Yep in a more smaller, compact, more affordable way for them. So it's and it still has that great look. It has the retro, the two-tone look. It's, it, yeah. it's something that people won't be embarrassed to carry around. Not at all. <laughs> I mean, one of the key selling features of this camera, of course, is the design and look of it, right? Oh, yeah. It does look like a range finder style camera. And one of the uniqueness features of the X-Series cameras, especially the X100, X Pro 1, and now the XE1, is its manual capabilities, physical dials yes. for aperture, you know, which is built onto the lens, to the shutter speeds, to the uh, exposure compensation. So, you know, myself or you, we can pick this camera up and know exactly what the exposure is going to be. Yep. People like that. Uh, I think that's a, a different factor. I have here, of course, with me the black and, and silver tone, but there's also, like the Expo One, an all black version. Awesome. Uh, so anyone who wants to, you know, now you sort of have that two choice. Excellent. Well, thanks, Billy, for uh, coming and showing me the new XE One from Fuji. Honestly, I, I'm very excited to see it, and I think uh, once they hit the store shelves, uh, they, they'll fly off the shelves. Well, thanks for having me here today. Absolute pleasure. Uh, so if you do want to pre-order one of these, you can, of course, go into any one of our stores, uh, or you can just go to henrys.com. Uh, if you have any questions or comments about uh, this camera or any other camera, of course, there's the comment section below. And if you do want to see some of our other videos, uh, there's always the subscribe button above. Uh, once again, my name is Mark Shannon for Henry's TV, and I'm here with Billy from Fuji. Thanks for having me.